What's up guys? So today I wanna to go through different ways we can increase your ranking of products in the search page. And so this video is for anyone who's struggling to make their first sale, struggling to maybe get their volume of sales a bit higher up, and um, maybe for people who just wanna get their visibility, maybe get their products from maybe the second or third page, or maybe lower first page, get their rankings higher up. And so the thing I wanna to talk to you today is about optimization. Of course, there's many different other factors that play a role in your sales and in your ranking, uh, such as if you're a top rated seller, if you have eBay premium service, but today specifically, and I think one of the biggest things that makes a difference is your optimization. And so I wanna go through three strategies that you can use today to improve your rankings and improve your visibility of your products, thus increasing your profits and your sales altogether. And so getting into it straight away, the first thing I wanna do after I make my face a bit small on here, is talk about optimization. Um, so optimization, what do I mean by optimization? So specifically, I mean title optimization. So let's get into this straight away. What is an optimized title? Okay, one second, let me bring me forward so you see my face. Okay, so let's find, take an example. I'm gonna go to frying pan like I always do. And let's go through this. All right, okay. So let's look at these titles right here. Let's take the first one, TFL Institution Stainless Steel Induction Frying Pan 2020. That's just the measurements, non-stick frying pan. So there we can see, it's not very optimized. It looks like they got this straight off Amazon and maybe copied this straight into their into their listing. Whereas if you go just even one more down, we can see three piece set cast iron non-stick frying griddle pan barbecue grill fry barbecue skillet so this is kind of a little bit of an extreme example just because that doesn't flow very well what i mean by optimize title optimization is that you want to add more keywords in your title so what does this mean that means when people search using different keywords in their search your product will show up so in this case if someone search cast iron pan this product will show up if someone searched up griddle pan, this product will show up. Someone search barbecue skillet, this product will show up. So you see what I'm saying here. You have a greater chance of your product being seen by potential customers. Whereas if I just typed, if I typed in barbecue griddle pan, this wouldn't come up. Well, I guess it wouldn't come up because it's not barbecue griddle pan. But if you could type in just something like, let's see, skillet, this would not come up. And that is a skillet. So that's just one example straight away of potential sales that you could get if you had put that keyword into your title. And so you pr you're probably wondering how, what keywords do I put into my title? Um, and so I'm gonna go to a website called Title Builder. And what this does is that it searches the most frequent keywords. I should have talked about it a little bit in my previous video, so I'm gonna talk about it again today. And so this goes through all the common and the most searched keywords associated with a given search. And so what I mean, let's type in frying, let's type in a little bit more than that, kitchen frying pan. Okay. All right, so straight away we can see the most popular words, uh, words associated with this is iron and cast. So that would be fine if we're selling an iron cast skillet, but if we're not, we don't want that. Here's also, look at the volume pan skillet cookware so straight away we can see that we should add cookware into this that's not there let's go frying obviously frying vintage i wouldn't add that unless it is a vintage pan kitchen frying cooking season lodge that's the type of uh, pan pre-grill camping so those are just a few example of words that you could add obviously you want to make sure you only add the words that are relevant you're not going to put in a season lodge um, uh, what is it called? Uh, iron grill pan or camping pan, and it's not a camping pan. Because then straight away, people are gonna look at you and say, wait, why did you say it's a camping pan? It's not a camping pan. Or if they somehow get past that and order your product, and they find out it's not a camping pan, you'll get probably a negative feedback or and just a lot more hassle. And so you don't wanna do that. You wanna make sure that you're adding keywords that are relevant to what the product is. 
And so see this person, this is all relevant. You could, yes, it's a barbecue skill. Yes, you could grill. Yes, you can. I don't know why they, they put barbecue twice because someone might just search BBQ, um, nonstick. So these are all relevant keywords. Doesn't flow, I probably make that flow a little better. And so what I like to do is take that one step further, not just chucking a bunch of words, but I, I even though these don't show up in Title Builder, I know that these keywords will market your product better. So one that I always put in my list is that I put new. So I'll probably put like maybe a dash at the end and in capitals or maybe asterisks around new. Cause straight away that stands out. Oh, that's a brand new pan, brand new pan or brand new box. And that's just one or mint mint condition obviously it's going to be brand new it sticks out capitals for that and so you don't want to put capitals for absolutely everything this is actually makes it worse and if you check in the ebay guidelines they don't want you to capital every single word so i would just capital i mean capitalize the whole word sorry so i would just capital the first letter sometimes and maybe just one word like new i also add in things like luxury everyone wants to buy something's luxury not for luxury price um let's think as well premium Obviously, you want to take a premium pan over a regular plan. Anything that increases the perceived value of that item, you want to put in your product while still making it sure that it's a correct description. And what I mean for perceived value, what will make this seem more expensive? Premium, luxury, those, those words make it sound better. Anything that makes this product sound better, you want to have into it. And you can add things like gift. I put this great gift, amazing gift. Let's just go through, see people putting the dimensions of the pan. I would put that in if it's relevant. If, pe if it's a specific thing you want to know about size, yes, put it in. And so we can see, look, this person's got it all highlighted, but they've sold 907, so it's working for them. And some people, just this is a side note, but some people ask me about subtitles, if they work or not. Yes, they work, but are they worth it? I wouldn't say so, unless you're a massive, massive eBayer. I, I've i tested out, I haven't seen honestly that much of a difference in my sale, in terms of sales, so I don't technically put it. Um, and so that's the first way, optimization. That's the biggest thing you wanna do above anything else for your for this, for your product, you want to optimize the title. I can't stress that enough. You can't just copy and paste your title in from Amazon or whatever supply you get. There's probably like five people with that same thing. What will set your product apart from these products? That's what you want to focus on. The next thing I want to talk about is um, sniping. And that's the method, method. I won't go too much into this. Basically, you're going to want to find an item like, for example, this pan, and you're going to want to find it, find the retailer. So for example, let's go on Amazon. Um, and you're going to want to search for that product in Amazon. And so I think we just saw this product. Is that the same one? No, that's not the same one. Um, but I can guarantee you it is probably here somewhere. Is that it? Let's see. Yep, that's it. So this is listed as 24.49. Um, no, that's not it. It's this one, 15 pounds. And you can see it here, it's listed 1650. In this case, we wouldn't undercut. So I wouldn't list this product. And by the looks of things, they're probably just scratch breaking even or maybe even losing a little bit. And they're probably making money off the back end through Amazon gift cards, discounted gift cards, through cash back and things like that. And so that's just an example of how you can do it. Search for an item, search for an Amazon or a supplier. See if you can undercut their products. If if someone searches for a product and they see five of these frying pans, they're most likely going to go for the cheapest one, right? It makes it just makes sense. A lot of times you'll come across a product and you can undercut them maybe by one or two dollars, and that will definitely you'll see your sales go up. And if you can't, there's something else we can do, and this leads into my third and last technique, and this is called snoptimization. This is a cross between optimization and sniping. And so this is personally my favorite method. And I've seen so many, I don't know, so uh, so many, so many more sales by doing this method. Um, so it's essentially, it's not part of the same three, but it's a combination of the two. So you're kind of getting the best of both things. So for example, I talked about a little bit about it in my last video. So going back to that frying pan, we see for 16 pounds 50. Um, and it's 15 pounds here. 
we can see, let's see if they put any keywords. Yeah, they have. They put Jamie Oliver in it. Uh, thermos. So they've put a few things. Pot, frying pan, fry pan. So I, this kind of just kind of looks more like a slapdash thing. I know definitely we can put a better keywords in there to get a better ranking. And so what optimization is, is, is that you'll take someone else's product that you know selling well, and you're gonna take the exact same product, doesn't matter about the price, but you're gonna take their title and you're gonna change the keywords. So we know that that product's already selling well with that title. Well, okay, we're gonna take that. Maybe we're gonna take out uh, just pan. Obviously we can take out pan straight here. Maybe we're gonna take out frying or fry. And we're gonna add more keywords, but more specifically, we're gonna add more relevant keywords. So we're gonna add things like cookware, um, luxury, like I said before, premium, new, uh, gift, things like that, mint. Um, and so that we want to take that product, but when this person, when a customer searches for this frying pan, this will show up and then wait, I want to show up next to it. Oh wait, it's a bit more, maybe I should get the cheap one. No, then we'll look and say it's luxury, premium. And this is just another best marketing method. We have this, we know that this product's making sales. We know that with this title, it's making sales, but we're gonna take that title and we're gonna make it better. And this will not only optimize your listing, but it also rank better than current selling listings most of the time. Granted, there'll be a few exceptions where someone's running the eBay premium service and you haven't got premium service, most likely not gonna beat them. But if you already have the premium service or your top rated seller, this will set you apart from the edge. And if you're a beginner, 100% use this method. Optimize your title, then snipe another title that's working well if you're listing the same product. I showed you in my last video, go to sold listings, find what's selling well, take that title, add more keywords, list that product. And so these are the three things I want to, uh, three optimization techniques I want to talk to you to, about today. Put, you try these three things out. If you're struggling to make sales, if your volume of sales are kind of gone down, I know a lot of people are taking a big dip this quarter. Um, if you're struggling for sales, try these techniques. I guarantee snow optimization will work. I've tried it in both my stores in England and my US store, and I've seen increase in sales. In fact, I almost exclusively use SN optimization now, unless there's a few exceptions, but I always SN optimize products. And I guarantee people, if you're already selling, people are sniping your products, people are SN optimizing your products. I know a bunch of people, I use my analytics tool, I talked about last time, Zik Analytics, and I can see that people are sniping my products. If I see a good selling product that suddenly stops selling as well, I can type it in here, and find out, oh wait, look at this person. This person has either undercut me or this person has added different keywords so it, so it ranks differently. So it's higher than mine in a certain keyword ranking. Okay, so that's um, video of today about how to increase your rankings and increase your sales and I hope this has helped. Again, I am new on YouTube, so I really appreciate it if you drop a like below. If you have any questions, I'm trying to answer all the comments really well. I have also a free Facebook group for entrepreneurs, online entrepreneurs, whether it's Shopify, Facebook ads. We're trying to build a community so everyone can help each other out, free information, free help. And if you like this video and you wanna see more, uh, if you have a specific video you wanna see, see, leave a comment below, I'll read that. And uh, subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. And I will see you in the next video.